So in our previous video, we talked about setting permissions to the Security and Compliance Center. This is a little out of order because now I want to talk about this main Security and Compliance Center screen. But the reason we did it in that sequence is what people see on this screen depends on the permissions that they've been given. So your first account is going to be in a, a global administrator, so they're going to have lots of security permissions. Not all of them, but a lot of them. But other users might not see the same things when they come into the Security and Compliance Center. So you got to make sure you give them the permissions to see and do what you need them to see and do. All right, now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at this main page here. So we have our very similar layout with our different tiles. We have the Welcome to Security Compliance Center, which gives us a tour of it, Search for Users, things that are recommended by Microsoft, if you are dealing with um, if you're dealing with an organization that's in Europe, at least partially in Europe, you're going to need to work through the GDPR. So information on working through it's one of their regulations. And it tells you right here it's about protecting and enabling individuals' privacy rights inside the EU. So tools to help you get uh, GDPR set up and working in your organization. Uh, links information about information, governance, threat uh, management, uh, search and investigation, uh, service assurance. So lots of different things in here that can be really useful right on your main page. Now for a lot of it, you're going to have links here that are going to take you to other places that you can reach from your menu over here, like under threat management, anti-phishing policies, spam policies, view quarantine, search for under search and investigation, search for content, search for admin and user activity. So lots of things that are linked here that are going to be very convenient for you to work with. Also notice in each one of them you have these little three dots here where you can choose to hide the specific widget if you're not going to need that, then you can get rid of it. Okay, so you have this main page with all of these different widgets on it to find the information. And uh, you can select the things you want. You can customize your, uh, your page by adding widgets, um, changing, changing layouts, reorganizing things. So you can kind of customize this page however you want, which is really convenient if there are specific things that you're going to need to do here, but other things you might not. So you might be in charge, let's say, of security. Let me go ahead and cancel this. You might be in charge of security, but you might not be worried about uh, GDPR. That may be somebody else's domain. They have to worry about it, or you may just not be working in the EU. You may not be worried about information governance or about search and investigation. That might be somebody else's job. So you can take those off and just kind of customize the screen however you want. Now remember, if people aren't seeing what you think they should be seeing, we can always go through or we can always go and try to add the widgets and put the uh, things on their screens that they want. But also make sure that you have their permission set correctly. Now, if there are things that you don't have in this main block of widgets that you access occasionally, but you don't want them here on a regular basis, remember everything else is also going to be found over here in this menu. So, for example, in our threat management, we have anti new anti-phishing policy, new spam policy, view quarantine, common things related to threat management. Over here in the menu, we have threat management. And when we expand that, you'll see policy, review, submissions, uh, dashboard. You can get to these things here. For example, our policies, if we click on policy, We'll see it opens up our threat policies, and here's our anti-phishing policy, our anti-spam policy. But also notice that we have more things in here in the menu than we have just on our home little dashboard. Okay, so quick introduction to the uh, Office 365 Security and Compliance Center, as it is named at the moment, will probably change. Uh, we'll dive into some of these other sections in some separate videos.